everybody. Thanks for coming down. Uh, if you don't know who I am, there's something you should know about me. I'm a really down-to-earth guy, but I'm getting pretty famous. All right? <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. It's not get recognized on the street now due to starring in multiple Australian television comedy shows, opening for Dave Chappelle. I went to Woolworths the other day to buy some salmon. And as I was purchasing my salmon, the guy behind the counter said, hey, wait a minute. Are you that part-time actor from It's a Date? And I was like, why did you open with part-time? Were you trying to imply that my performance on It's a Date was somehow amateur? Or that a full-time actor would not be purchasing his own salmon at Woolworths? You don't know, I could be a full-time actor. You don't know me. I could be acting right now. I could be going method. I'm actually preparing for a role where I play a humble comedian who's not about to throw the salmon in your face. <laughs> Oddly enough, this is the most challenging role of my career. Speaking of Woolworths, we're all being lied to. Every single one of us in this room is being lied to by Woolworths. You know that dollar coin you put in shopping trolleys? That dollar coin shouldn't be stopping anybody. The slag metal value alone of that shopping trolley exceeds a dollar. You can put a dollar in that thing, you can take that bad boy home. You'll still come up on top. Every time I bring this up, my friends say the same thing. They say, Ronnie, you're overthinking this. As usual, you're being too clever. That dollar coin isn't there to stop you from taking the trolley home. That dollar coin is there to reward you for putting the trolley back. It's your reward for keeping the place tidy. Okay, well then guess what, Woolworths? Don't pay me my own dollar to keep your place tidy. <laughs> pay me an additional dollar in salary. That was my money to begin with. <laughs> That'd be like me paying for this salmon with an apple from your fruit section. <laughs> That's right. It was yours to begin with. Speaking of apples, apples are red, with thin, edible skin and white flesh, okay? Whereas oranges are rounder, with orange-colored skin and orange-colored flesh. And the skin of an orange, hey, generally discarded before consuming. All right, you know what just happened there? You know what I just did? I just compared apples to oranges. <laughs> it can be done. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I just did it. it. Helps if you speak English. Hey fellas, hey guys, guys in the room, have you ever gotten in trouble with your girl over some shit Kanye West said in a song once? Has that ever happened to you? What well, happened to me? I was sitting on my sofa with the girl I was dating at the time or watching MTV, right? Kanye West comes on with his music video for his new song, Bound 2. Okay, if you don't know Bound 2, it's the music video he does, he does with Kim Kardashian on a motorcycle, right? It's really tacky on purpose because he's a genius. <laughs> so we're watching this goddamn video, Kanye West comes on, and one of the lyrics in his song happens to be, have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? Okay, so he's singing his song, have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? Immediately, the girl I'm dating just turns to me, right? Just angry and disgusted. Oh my God! Can you believe what he just said? That's disgusting. Is that what you want? Do you want to ask your bitch for other bitches? Is that what you want to do? I'm like, whoa, whoa, I didn't say that. I didn't even pick the channel. You picked the channel. This video randomly came on. How is this on me? Right, but she won't stop. She keeps going. She won't quit. She's like, oh my God, that's all men want. Men just want to ask their bitch for other bitches. Men are pigs. Men are disgusting. Men are pigs. Men are pigs. And she won't quit. And I just go, okay, fuck it. You want to have this conversation? You want to have this conversation? Let's have this conversation, all right? Because I went to an elite law school. I don't lose verbal arguments, all right? I'll debate you until I win or one of us dies, all right? You want to do this? Let's do it. Let's break it down. Let's break down what Kanye West is saying. First of all, Kanye West isn't even asking his bitch for other bitches. He's asking the question, have you ever asked your bitch for other bitches? It's a hypothetical. It didn't even happen, right? What are you, punishing him for his thoughts now? Are you Big Brother from 1984? 
Second of all, let's put aside the fact that bitch and eubonics and hip hop can also have positive connotations in the right context. And let's take what he's saying at face value. Let's just take what he's saying at face value. He's asking his bitch for other bitches. He's not sleeping with other bitches. He's not cheating with other bitches. He's asking his bitch for other bitches. You don't know what kind of relationship they have. Maybe they have an open relationship. Maybe they like threesomes. You don't know. You're just applying your own moral values onto this couple. Who's the bitch now? And that, my friends, is how you win the battle, but lose the war. <laughs> because I successfully argued my way out of that relationship. <laughs> All right, hey, listen, you guys have been great. Thanks for coming down. Go home safe. I'll see you later.